Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to take a closer look at NVIDIA. The company just reported earnings, and after hours, the stock is pretty much flat. Even though they gave crazy, crazy guidance, they did give a nice B in revenue and earnings per share. We're going to take a closer look at those numbers, but there might be some things that investors are a little bit worried about. So we'll take a closer look at all that in today's episode. So let's get started. All right, so let's just start off with kind of earnings on the top level versus expectations. So quarter three revenue was $18.1 billion versus $16.1 billion that was as, uh, expected. So we can see a huge boost in quarter three revenue. Now, when we take a closer look at quarter three earnings per share on a non-gap basis, NVIDIA reported $4.30 versus $3.39, which was what was estimated for this quarter. So huge, huge B in revenue, huge, huge B in earnings per share. Now, what I think is the crazy craziest thing in my opinion is the overall guidance quarter four revenue guidance i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now with that link you get a promotional offer for the subscription service now let's continue with today's episode they gave roughly 20 billion dollars versus 17.8 billion that was expected by analysts and if i i just want to showcase uh one thing real quick here i'm looking at revenue new estimates uh, for the current quarter. Like we mentioned, it was closer to that 17.82. But we can see in almost every quarter, let me just hide uh, earnings per share and let's just look at revenue. We can see how this companies in the past year or so estimates continue to go higher and higher and higher. And even as they go higher and higher, the company continues to outbeat and completely un outperform uh, in expectations. Uh, so overall, we do see that, hey, the AI market is still in high demand. AI solutions are still in high demand. And NVIDIA at the moment is still the king in this space. Uh, so like I mentioned, let's take a closer look. NVIDIA is pretty much down 1%. Uh, I mean, in the past month or so, NVIDIA stock has skyrocketed. It kind of dropped to $400 uh, earlier on in late October. Since, since then, the stock is up nearly $100, up nearly 24%. So I'm not too shocked that the stock, even with these great earnings, even with these great guidance, uh, is not moving much because the company, in my opinion, to some extent, is priced to perfection. And this is what sometimes should worry me as an investor, maybe worry other investors. Imagine if earnings weren't as amazing as they were right now, how would that market have reacted? Uh, so we, again, this can just show you that the market is already expecting a lot in a lot from nvidia and they are to some extent priced to perfection but now that we we kind of took a closer look at those top level numbers i also want to take a closer look at kind of their revenue trend so we can see data center market continues to lead bulk of the revenue 14.5 billion out of that 18 billion that is up on a year-over-year -year basis and is up roughly four billion dollars sequentially i i just want to point out that four billion dollars sequentially is that is, is how much bigger they are they weren't making four billion dollars in data center market about a year ago even three three two quarters ago they first hit their four billion dollar mark here uh the gaming market was also up sequentially and it's up also year over year we are kind of seeing that kind of um growth in inventory correction the, the the kind of fears of inventory correction is down the other markets are up a nice amount but those are smaller portions of the pie i am surprised that the automobile industry um is up on a sequential basis we have heard a little bit here and there that the automotive market is a little bit weak right now now i do have some highlighted information from the company's overall results and later today or maybe tomorrow if you guys haven't make sure to hit the thumbs up the subscribe button i will be doing more of a deeper dive on their earnings call and taking a closer look at the q a session uh so definitely subscribe i'll most likely be doing an exclusive video on my membership program so make sure to click join to learn more about that with my weekly videos um but stay tuned and, and check out those kind of pinned comments as well especially for a special offer at fool.com slash jose uh so now if we take a closer look at non-cap basis some other things i want to kind of take a closer look at is gross margins gross margins is 75 percent up roughly 3.8 Eight percentage points quarter over quarter and up 18.9 percent year over year I, I i do believe gross margins right now are really high because of their high tier uh the high margins that they are getting in in their um data center sales uh this is one of the things i do believe i'm fearful or when i start to see gross margins decline i do believe that's going to be a major yellow flag for me to really keep an eye out on demand for
for this product. So I think gross margins is going to be very important to look at and keep a closer eye on. Um, in data center market, they do mention obviously the strong sales is because their AGX platforms, the H100 and the supercomputers that are being developed, um, the, the full stack infrastructure that they can build with their AGX platform. They are also mentioning that their sales of Ampere, which is their previous generation, finally started to see a decline sequentially. I do believe that sequential decline is uh, NVIDIA also kind of slowing down production as they approach the end of that architecture and they get ready for the next generation that should be coming out within the upcoming year or so. They do mention that they also recognize initial revenue of their L40S GPUs and the Grace Hopper uh, super chip uh, for, for a broad range of customers. This is something we are going to want to listen to during the earnings call as well. What is the revenue on that Grace Hopper? What is the revenue on that L40S? The company, I do believe this is where some of the fear is coming from. Uh, on October 17th, we covered it really well in this channel. There was some form of licensing or, or regulations export expanding for NVIDIA and a lot of their products from the A100 to the A800, the, even the RTX 4090 are prevented to being shipped into China. And they do mention that they believe that um, they expect sales to these destinations will decline significantly um, in the fourth quarter of fiscal 2024, where normally data center revenue for China is roughly 20 to 25 percent. We're, we're going to see what that means. Is it going to drop down to maybe the low teens, the mid teens? So something to keep an eye out. But they believe that the decline will be more than offset by strong growth in other regions. And right now, everyone from Europe to Latin America to North America is investing in AI one way or another. Uh, so they do mention that, hey, look, there's still strong growth for their solutions in other regions. Now, if we take a closer look at the gaming market, they do see sequential growth thanks to um, back to school and start of the holiday seasons. I also do believe here in the gaming market, Cards like the 4080 and the 4090 are also being used for AI workstation. That's just my overall thesis there. I could be completely, completely wrong. Now in the balance sheet, cash is roughly $18.2 billion versus $13 billion a year ago and up. 2 billion a quarter ago. It was roughly 16 billion a quarter ago. So this company is building up a nice amount of cash. Uh, they also do mention that, hey, look, they have roughly $17 billion in purchase commitments and obligations for inventory and manufacturing capacity. This company has a lot and a lot of chips that they are building right now. In forms of cash flow from operations, roughly 7.3 billion from 392 to 7 billion in a matter of a year. You can see the power of this AI transformation, and it is up about a billion versus a quarter ago. Uh, the company did do roughly $3.8 billion in share repurchase, which I'm actually sh shocked. I did not think the company was going to do that, but they did buy a nice amount of shares. $3.8 billion to a trillion dollar market cap is not much. In my opinion, what I do believe is happening right now is the company is giving incentives in forms of, of stock-based compensations to kind of grab talent to their, to their platform or to their company and to kind of avoid the dilution of shares there they're going to be using this kind of stock based compensate this buy back to kind of eliminate that dilution that they might be doing there. Now, the final thing I want to take a closer look at is revenue. They expect roughly 20 billion plus or minus 2%. I do believe they are going to, the past two, three quarters, they have been outperforming their own guidance. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, this, it, it continues to grow, especially with their Grace Hopper, uh, Grace Hopper 200 that's coming out, the Hopper 200 as well. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of demand, but I, I, I wonder where is the top for this um, because it just keeps going and going so let's just take a closer look at price action right now nvidia is still pretty much flat i guess investors are waiting for the earnings call i hope you guys enjoy the quick update take care have a good day and see you next time